So we're at the point now, I've cleaned up a little bit in the pocket, a um, little bit around the horn edges, and uh, I'm going to hit that more when we get to the finishing stage, right before we go to stain and, and poly. Um, but we can round over the, the edges right now, and uh, we're going to do that on both sides. And once that, once we get that part done, um, the next step is going to be routing out the the electronic cavities. But um, it's really going to start to kind of look a lot sharper just with rounding over the corners here. And what I'm using, let me see if I can try to focus this here. See that round over bit right there. So we're going to take it right up to the edge, and then this this bearing here is going to go along the side of the body and we're going to put it at a depth to where it just stops on the top part of the arch there. Uh, and we're just going to go around the edge, pull it up, double side tape the other side, push it down, route the other edges, and we should be good. So uh, I'll just shoot a little bit of video of me doing this and then we'll jump on to the next step. Alright, so since the last video I've been a little busy, um, I went ahead and marked out for the pickup cavities. Um, so uh, the template here, you've got the control cavities right here, and then the electronics channels, the pickup selector is up here, and then the pickup cavities. So. Um, I put that onto the body blank, I traced out where that was at, and then I took Forstner bits and I did preliminary drilling right here. You can see all of those holes where the uh, Forstner bits went in. Um, and, and that's the best way to keep good consistent control with your router. Um, the more wood you have to carve, carve away with your router, the, the harder it is to actually control the router. So uh, the very next step is to um, adhesive the body blank uh, to, the, to the bench and then secure this right in line with your body. And then we're going to use the template to route out and clean up the rest of it. So we'll get going on that. Okay, so I finished routing uh, the cavities here. Now, um, you could go deeper if you wanted to and get rid of uh, the holes here, but um, we're not gonna worry about that because all of this is going to be lined with foil tape. Um, which is going to help eliminate a lot of grounding or, or buzzing in the guitar. So all of this cavity area is going to be lined with that, so this isn't visible. And we've got a flat bed surface, and that's what we want. So um, at this point, uh, the next step 
is going to be uh, assembling the pit guard and um, doing a, a, a dry fit in here. We'll get the neck bolted on and um, and then after that we'll get the bridge situated. We'll get that cut out and then the tremolo cavity in the back cut out. Um, and then from there we'll get things kind of finished up. We'll get some some more filing and sanding done. Get the body ready for uh, for everything else. Um, for staining and, and clear coat. And then we'll we'll make sure the neck is, is that way too. So um, we'll see you in the next video.